and I will probably add one more tune, tune uh, because it's sort of funny. Uh, in America, the tune "My Rifle, My Pony, and Me" has nothing to do with maritime. However, in Poland, it actually talks about a rabbit sitting on the pole that is stuck in the bottom of the sea and it's protecting the water from draining from the sea. So, as you can see, the tune that is non-maritime uh, tune in one country can be a maritime tune in the other country. So, let's go to that funny little tune. Okay, the song or the tune that is very beautiful, however, its beauty also comes from simplicity. I've heard it sung and being played here in Seattle, uh, Washington, uh, so many times, almost on every occasion, and even at the last concert, uh, this was played as a sort of uh, uh, farewell song. It's a Mingale boat song. As you can see, I was playing only using one button, fifth upper button on the left hand side, plus three buttons on the upper row on the right hand side. Beautiful tune, simple, simple play. Okay, in my video recording, I made a reference to more than a hundred tunes, maritime tunes that I recorded. Uh, in each I'm referring to the song, uh, uh, its title, and also at the end I'm giving you the range of the buttons. So, like in the last song, I basically gave you the range from what is the lowest uh, note in that tune to the uh, highest note in the tune, and you can pretty much figure it yourself just by playing, you know, every note after each other, and then, you know, until you, you find it, and again, close your eyes, and uh, this will help you very much. Um, Please note that I do not really read the notes, so uh, the buttons should be correct. But sometimes I might have given you the other notes, so for example, there are always two notes, like on one note on the push, the other one on pull. When you practice all the notes in the range given with closed eyes, you will be able to find the melody after listening uh, to the tunes. A couple of words about concertinas in general. Uh, obviously, as you know, the Anglo-German concertinas called Anglos, and this is the one of them, and they are actually, you know, <clears throat> they are the most popular ones. They are also English ones that have uh, usually twice as many buttons. And um, there are also different ranges for the concertina. There are CG, uh, GD concertinas. I can also demonstrate to you uh, this one. Um, the, the difference, however, you know, when it comes to the melody, as long as you're not playing with other instruments, it actually doesn't matter. Um, also, uh, there are certain learnings you can uh, you can uh, get from you know uh, concertinas age and also from you know where it was manufactured and also what years it was manufactured. Um, I would like to uh, tell you about uh, that some of the concertinas are dual read and some of them are just a single read. Like this one is single read, 
and it plays basically the same note uh, when you pr push the button. Um, I will demonstrate in a second uh, um, a different concertina that actually uh, plays uh, two reeds at the same time, uh, octave apart. A um, couple of words about this concertina. I really love it. It's um, Italian made and it's actually written here very faintly, made in Italy. Uh, beauty about the older concertina, some of the older concertina, is that its buttons are actually on the wooden levers. And the modern uh, concertinas, it's made of uh, aluminium, uh, 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 aluminium uh, 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 you know, levers, and they often um, get uh, twisted or get, you know, worked out, and also they have those uh, rubber bushing that with age they uh, fall apart and the button starts moving. In this case, you know, this concertina does not have any loose buttons. So that's actually a good thing about older concertina. However, if you uh, pick up some vintage concertinas, they might, not, they might be already out of tune or they might have issues. They might be more for decoration purpose than actually for playing. I'll, I'll demonstrate in a second more. Uh, my second concertina that I pre I'm presenting to you, it's uh, it's called uh, oh sorry, it's called the Renelli. It's also made in Italy. Uh, however, this one is much newer and has the metal uh, levers and also this uh, rubber bushings. What's interesting about this one, this model, is that uh, this actually has um, two reeds per each note. And when I pulled it apart, it actually plays. <laughs> richer sound it's much louder because as I said you know the holes are done the way that uh, you know that uh, it plays two reads at the same time 